What's good, guys? You know what it is. Angela from Active Lifestyle coming at you guys live. We're down down here in Baja, California, enjoying this amazing trip. We just got done doing this amazing UTV tour down in the Baja Desert. It was super dope. I uh, actually put some clips here for you guys so you guys can see them. Hella fun, super amazing. Great time out here on vacation. But even on vacation, we got to put in that work, okay? So that's not the point of this video. The point of this video, what I want to dive deep into right now is choose a passion project to test yourself in. What do I mean by that? I want you guys to pick something to test your ability within yourself in, right? Because a lot of times we're told that if we get this perfect job, then it's all going to be perfect. And we will, if, if you do what you love, you will never work a day in your life. But that can't be nothing further from the truth. Because anything worth achieving is going to take a lot of hard work up front, a lot of, lot of long nights, a lot of effort you get to put in, right? And the point of running a business or creating the, your dream life that you ever wanted isn't just to be happy, but it's also to test yourself, to see your resilience, to see how you're able to overcome these obstacles, right? And another thing too, same in the same atmosphere within that is like when people say, once I be, have this relationship and once I be, have this dream partner, then it will all be good and it will all be happy. But I'm going to tell you guys the truth. The truth is the point of a relationship isn't for you to be necessarily always happy. The point of a relationship is, isn't for you to just feel like, ah, I am the perfect person. That person is the perfect person. We're going to be perfect together and life will be perfect. That can't be further from the truth because honestly, a lot of times when the mis you make a mistake and there's something about your partner that you don't like, it could be a reflection about yourself and the, a reflection about yourself on what you're not doing right. And then that makes you learn from that experience, right? So a lot of times you're thinking, oh, I am maybe not perfect, but if I find someone, then I will eventually be happy because I see all these perfect couples on Instagram happy. But no, it's like, let me find someone, you know, that's working on themselves, of course, that they're making a conscious decision to try to make them best of themselves. But then on the same side, you look at yourself and say, hey, maybe these things I'm doing are not working in the relationship, but I can make it better with time, with trial and error, seeing what my partner likes, seeing what my partner doesn't like, right? So... That's what I wanted to hop on here and talk to you guys about while we're enjoying this beautiful sunset view out here in West Cowboys, California, is the fact that I want you guys to pick a passion project, pick something to actually test yourself, to focus in, to zone in, to have, you know, try to get rid of all distractions, even though it's not always all the way possible. But pick yourself, try as hard as you can, right? Because you don't know what success looks like in that area of your life. It's not until you go and you actually do it that you see, hmm, I, before I even tried to start this, now I'm thinking about it and saying, wow, this doesn't work. But now that you're in the trenches working towards that goal, you have a more of an idea on how you can make that dream a reality. And you'll actually see how you can make that a reality instead of thinking and fantasizing, I want to be successful. I want to see success in this area of my life. But it's not until you go out there and do it that you can actually see a better picture of how that is actually able, able to be achievable. On the flip side too, thinking about, you know, if you're in a relationship, then you will be happy. That's incorrect as well. You have to be happy within yourself. And even when you get that person, it's gonna be a consistent trial and error process to see what they like and see what they can do to make you happy. But in the same way, you will be able to know how you can make them happy and you'll be able to blend that together and make it way better. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this video here short. We do have dinner reservations, so I'm gonna go check that out as a nice restaurant. I'll probably post some videos of that as well on here, make you a little hungry. But if you guys did enjoy that video, make sure you guys leave a comment and a like down below, and or slide in the DMs, ask me any questions as you guys want. I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. Thank you.